what's good with y'all, man? You're watching AGTV, and on this episode, I will be answering questions y'all have for me about America. Now, y'all was sending me all this stuff on Instagram. I went on Instagram on my story, and I asked y'all send me. I asked y'all to send me some questions y'all had about America, so I could do this video. To everybody who did send these questions, I really do appreciate y'all. I really, really, really do appreciate y'all for this. Um, but I ain't about to talk too much, man. Let's get into it. What would you say is America's greatest influence to the rest of the countries? America's greatest influence? Uh, I don't really know because I, I only I never been outside of America to really be able to see it for myself. But from what I hear from people, I'm gonna assume it's like just the money aspect, the opportunity. Uh, living life to a higher level as far as like assets, acquirements, and things like that. Um, just things like that. I think it's just about basically just looking apart and elevating your life. I think that's the main thing. People just kind of look up to the opportunity in America. That's what I personally feel. Uh, do you think America has a distinct culture? I don't really think America has a distinct culture per se because everywhere in America is different. Like, from state to state, cultures just kind of change. Overall, America is basically about money. America is basically a big ass business. Every everything is about profit. Everything is about getting over on something or somebody. For the most part, everything is about getting what you can get out of situations. America is just all about taking care of yourself and your family. Basically, that's the best way I could put it. Um, I think that's the only thing really distinct about America. People come here to make money. People come here for opportunity. People come here to change their lives. Basically, that's. That's how I basically see America. Um, what's it like being a prisoner in your own country? I don't really know exactly what you mean by that. Me personally, I don't really feel like a prisoner. I don't really feel like I have to have a victimized mentality to where it's like, okay, I know I'm a black man in America, so let me go ahead and complain about some shit because it's not fair that white people get white privilege. I don't look at life like that. They try to teach us to look at life like that, but I know for a fact I don't have to look at life like that. That's a decision that I'm making to feel like that about myself, not knowing that the more I look at life in that light, the more I'm kind of putting myself down. Instead of thinking about what they're not doing for me, instead of thinking about how they hold me back, why don't I just be happy about the fact that I'm alive? You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at life, me personally. I'm not too much into all the negative shit. I don't really think about too much negative because it's like, for what? That's a, that's a decision I get to make. You know what I mean? I could be in a lot worse situation than for me to just be sitting here complaining about what I don't have or what they're not letting me do. I should just be happy that I'm alive, I'm breathing. At that point, what else could you ask for? You know what I'm saying? So I don't really feel like a prisoner in my own country. Um, so yeah. Um, I want to know why the president was killed. You talking about Kennedy. Um, from what I was told over the years and even more recently, I think so what I what I from what I know. Kennedy was killed because he was about to take a lot of rights away from a lot of people. He was about to have certain laws passed and things like that that people really didn't agree with. Also, he got exposed on a lot of things that other people were involved in. And he was basically getting a lot of people exposed and getting a lot of people in trouble because he couldn't keep his shit together, basically, as far as hiding everything. And I don't want to get too deep into it because it's like a lot of deep shit um, that I don't really know too much about. I didn't do too much research on, so I'm not going to speak on it as if I know. But... From my, from like, to sum it all up, in my perspective, what I've been told is that he was about to take a lot of rights away from a lot of people. Specifically, I don't know. And like I said, he was getting exposed to doing a lot of things. If you want to do your research, you could look up Kennedy and like the island he was involved with. I ain't gonna get into it, but that's all I can tell y'all for right now. Um, what are some attractions you got over? I don't really know exactly what you mean by this. Um... Attractions I got over. I don't think I really have any. I don't know what you mean by the attractions I got over. Yeah, I don't really know what you mean. If you mean like attractions as in like something that people will want to come see in America, I don't really know. I just kind of be living life. I don't know. Which is more popular, basketball, football, or baseball? I'm going to say... I think basketball is least I think basketball is least popular to be honest out of all three of these. Um basketball is personally one of my favorites though. Usually in the African in the black community, bro, we like basketball. You get what I'm saying? But football and baseball, I feel like they're more like they they reach out to more people. But if I had to guess, I'm gonna say baseball might be the biggest. 
But football, like the Super Bowl and shit, that's just like the biggest event in sports in the States, I think. Like, just talking about the, the United States, I think football is like, has the biggest championship. But overall, I think baseball might be the biggest. I don't really know. I never really looked into it, but I know football and baseball is real big. So I'm going to go with football and baseball between those two. But if I had to pick, I'm going to say baseball. Um, Do y'all have a traditional dance? Um, Shit, no, shit. Soldier Boy shit. You know what I'm saying? Watch me, you. Watch me, you. I don't know. That ain't really no traditional dance or nothing. That's just some shit that we be turned to or, or we used to be turned to. I don't know. We had a lot of dances when we was coming up, shit. But there ain't like one specific one that we just all kind of do. Like, I can't really think of one off the top of my head that everybody just do. Like, nah. But we come up with new dances all the time. We always making new little trendy shit. You know what I'm saying? New little dances. They don't really last too long nowadays. But back in the day, the dances was more big back in the day. Um, National Heroes. National heroes. I don't know. They do a, like in America is different. Like as far as national heroes, they they take it all the way back. They make you look at all the way back in history, and they try to make those our heroes. So like they gonna say Martin Luther King or like Malcolm X. Shit, that's really about it. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. Shit, if you wanna add Tupac in there, I don't know. Like, National Heroes, we ain't really got no real big ones in my eyes. Like, some people might say Barack Obama, but, like, you got to look deeper. You got to do your own research when it comes to these names. Because if you're just somebody who just going along with whatever history say or going along with what everybody else saying, you'll get lost in the sauce. Like, you got to do your own research and decide if you want these people to really be your heroes or not. You got to look into, like, you got to just look at things a little bit differently. I ain't going to get too deep into all of that, but, like, I, I guess you could say those are the National Heroes of the uh, United States. Those are the people I grew up learning about. Um, what's the biggest difference you've seen with the American and Jamaican culture? The biggest difference I can say I've seen in the American and Jamaican culture. That's a good ass question, actually. I never thought about that. I think. I believe in Jamaica. It seems like y'all or y'all are more. I guess you. Could, I believe y'all are more tight knit. I believe y'all are more tight knit, and y'all follow a lot more beliefs, or y'all have a lot more similar beliefs than in America. And the only reason why I say that is because I know that y'all are an island. Y'all are a lot smaller. Um, I see a lot more black people together in Jamaica. I don't I don't really know. This is just my observation. I don't really know. I've never been to Jamaica. But um I believe that culturally y'all are more strong as far as like y'all unity and like y'all belief systems and like what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? I feel like in America it's like so separated and so segregated and so like everybody just so all over the place and just focused on themselves and grinding and try to change their life for the better or it's just it's just so many different things going on in America and we don't look at life from a from a country perspective. Like we don't look outside of America. We don't look at uh we don't really look to Jamaica, no offense. We don't really look to Australia or New Zealand. Is that the same? Listen, I don't know. That's the that's the whole point. We don't look outside of America for anything else. Everything that we watch, everything that we consume, everything that we partake in is all American based. I feel like in Jamaica y'all probably are more open to experience new horizons when it comes to other people and y'all are more tight knit. That's what I personally think. Um, if I had to just say what the biggest difference was in America and Jamaica, but that was all the questions. Hold on, let me make sure. Yeah, those was the only questions y'all had sent me. So, hope y'all enjoyed that. If y'all want a part two, man, go on my Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is AGTV Clips. Um, if you want to know more about what I think about America or what I feel about Jamaica or whatever the case may be. Feel free to go on my Instagram and DM me whatever it is you want to be, uh, you want to see on the channel, and maybe I can make that happen for y'all. But anyway, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all, let me know what y'all want to see next. I'm out.